my tops as in websites that I like to use in the classroom with my students. And this, I will not go into detail on each website because I can easily talk about this for an hour or two. So I will just do a quick overview of each one and then I'll provide all the links down below so you can check them out. I teach kindergarten, so some of these will be pretty specific to kindergarten, but others you can use for different grade levels. So I hope this helps you out if you're looking for some different websites you'd like to use. Some of them are more common and some of them are a little bit different. So let's get started. The first one is abcga.com. This one goes from pre-K all the way up to fifth grade. I like to usually put kindergarten or first grade. And I usually put them on the smart board or I will let them go to the computer center and pick this. And they really enjoyed all the games. You can purchase an account. I did not do that so I can't tell you how that is. But I just used the three games that were on here and the kids really enjoyed them. It was lots of different games for letters and um, addition games, counting games, lots of different Practice games. There was even word problems. This was a great word problem game. Um, Molly adds up to 10. They love that one. And in the next one, Molly adds and subtracts from 10. So, really engaging games here, uh, as well as those number values they used also. So, that's ABC. Yeah, and again, I won't go into too much detail because, again, I'll, we'll be here forever. The second one that I just adore is Discovery Education. This one I probably use daily, especially for social studies and science. There are tons of different resources for science and social studies, and there's also a lot of read aloud. So if you look up Weston Woods right here on Advanced Search, you just go Advanced Search, and then you go to Publisher, and you go to Weston Woods. They'll all show up. So right here in Publisher, you just put, uh, go all the way down to Weston Woods and submit, and it will show you all the different read alouds that are available. But let's say I was going to teach living things, living and non-living things. I would just search it here, and it would show me all the different things. Now, sometimes I just wanted to look at videos or images or text, and maybe I want to see things that are specific to K through 2. So there's a bunch of different Sources. And then I can just add it to my quick list, I can add it to my content, and then I can easily find it again. So this was fantastic. And not only that, but let's say I like this video, but I want to create a lesson around it. They had lessons that went along with the videos or the um, activities. So like here's some lessons that you can use, some ideas, some vocabulary. So I just love this uh, website. Also, if you didn't want to show the whole video, they had different segments you can show as well, in case you didn't want to show that entire video. So this is Discovery Education. This is also free to sign up with your um, Gmail. You can just use your Gmail account. The next one is Epic, and this is GetEpic.com. This, I used it more for the Listening Center. And all I did was create an account, and then I uh, transferred that. Um, so some of them I would delete, or I would add other ones. So this is what it looked like at the end of the year. There's also collections that you can find on uh, that people have already made. So if you don't want to go through uh, the hassle of creating your own collection, you can definitely look for collections that have already been made. The only warning I have about that is sometimes those collections will have really high level books and really low level as well. And when I mean high level, I mean like chapter books and things like that. So just um, really look at all those books and those collections if that's what you're planning on doing. But this was a great resource, especially for those um, listening centers because it will flip the pages for them and read it to them. If you'd like, there's also your regular books that they would have to read, and there's audiobooks as well. So that's getepic.com. I'll put all the links down below again. This is ABC Mouse, and this is 
free for teachers. You can create, you can go into the full account for free. You just click on teachers and sign up with your school um, email address. And it has a ton of different resources. Again, I won't go through it. You can just go here to this website and look at all the different things that are on there. Uh, the next one is Starfall. This one I like it for their calendar as well as their uh, letters, letter songs and introductions and games. And then the word machine they really started using when we started doing more CVC words. So I'll just show you that. Like this, my school actually, we became members so we had access to the full website. So for example here, we only have short A because it's this is the free version, but if you have the full version, you'd have all the letters. But this was great because they could manipulate the different phonemes. Let me write this. So let's turn it on. So here it says like ham, and then they have to go am, and then push it through. So I like how they would highlight each of the letters, and then it would push it through. So this was great to use about mid, mid to half year through. And you were a, they were able to change the beginning or ending sound or the whole entire word. So that was a great resource as well. So that's just one of them. Again, I won't go through every single thing because there's a ton of stuff you can do on here. So see here you can change one of the letters or you could have changed the entire word. So that was good for manipulating the phonemes. So there is Starfall. And again, it has lots of different things for the holidays as well, like Earth Day and the 100th Day and all that sort of stuff. The next one that I haven't heard about too much is Teach Your Monster to Read. This is actually like an adventure game on the computer and it's completely free. All you have to do is create an account and you input all your students in there. It'll give you their username and password and you can print out parent letters to send home and they can play this at home as well. And the kids really enjoy it because, again, it feels like an adventure game. So it feels like any game they would play on the computer. It has sight words and letter sounds and blends and digraphs. All sorts of things are on here. And it's fun for them. They can change their outfits and make different monsters. So it was a great game that they love to play. Um, so here's just a quick overview of this. And just the computer version is free. So you wouldn't be able to use this on an iPad for free. That does cost, that would cost you money. But again, it's a wonderful game, especially for being a free game. And the parents loved it as well. The only thing about this is the password they do give you is pretty complicated. So at the beginning of the year, you definitely have to help them input that password because it is like a, a mix of letters and numbers and they usually had trouble inputting that at the beginning of the year, um, in at least in kindergarten. And there's three different levels you can put them in, and it gives you all the data. So it'll show you how many times they got a letter correctly or incorrectly. So I really like that about this, how it gave you that data as well. Then the last one, why did I feel like, there, I already went over ABC Mouse. I put that one twice. That's how much I like it. So this was actually six websites that I enjoy. I don't know why I thought I had seven. I hope I'm not missing any. But those were my six top websites that I like to use. There were several others as well, but these were just the ones that we gravitated towards the most. Um, I hope this helped you, especially if you're a new teacher and you're just wondering what websites would be good to use. These are some of them. Um, if you have any other websites that you like to use in the classroom, please leave them down below. I'd love to have some more ideas for uh, websites to use next.